Hello and welcome to Top Table Duels. Thank you so much for joining me today. So this is a ranked best of three match. Up here in the blue we have Top Deck at 959. He's going to be playing a Labyrinth Deck against I1 Nats at 529 who's going to be playing a Despia Bestial uh, Dark World branded deck. It's a bit of a hodgepodge in there so let's go ahead and kick this off. He's going to be getting to go first. Right, Lux is gonna normal summon the Luber, activate its effect, grab the brand regain, best card in the game. Activate brand regain and then go ahead and light off his brand fusion. So here it's gonna get dimension shifter, so at least he's gonna get still get the fusion summon, he's gonna get to add one of them back off of his brand, so he, if he chooses so. So chain uh, chain link one, he's gonna do Lubellion, chain link two, he's going to do tragedy because it does get its effect while banished. And then he's going to return the Fallen of Albaz as well as Tragedy. Get his uh, get his Masquerade out and then activate his Brand and Regain and then return the graph and give him a draw. So I really do like that play and that's why Brand and Regain, best card in the game right now. Especially with Silly Old Dimension Shifter running around. Let's just get rid of that card. Fix tier, fix the Shizu stuff and then get rid of Dimension Shifter. Card should never be printed. So, he's going to light off his Allure of Darkness. He's going to banish out his Snow Unlight of the Dark World. So, see here. He's not playing a significant uh, Dark World package. It looks like he's probably just trying to get into the fusion and get those free pops off. All right. So, top deck on in phase is going to activate Bestial Magnumut, banishing the Dimension Shifter, getting his search. Every single time he activates effects, he's losing 600. But at least he has something that he can match the attack with. Uh, and just go straight into battle phase and run it over. So he'd choose not to keep taking 600. And he says, I'll risk it for the biscuit. All right. He's going to light up his pot of extravagance, banishing six, drawing into two. So, so far here, he's got his silver castle in hand, which is great. Second, when you see, he has his welcome to the labyrinth. He has two ice dragon prisons, a really good way to shut down um, the older version of Despia. It can still do some damage. Uh, but as you can see here, um, I won Nats didn't even go into Mirror Jade. Uh, that wasn't the attempted play. It is a little bit harder on him to do that, but that's not the attempted play he went for. He went for the Masquerade. So he's going to go into battle phase. Like I said, he did just, just run him over after taking a little bit of damage. Then he's going to activate Brandon Regain and draw himself yet another card. So he does have two Brandon openings, but we're just seeing the power of Brandon Regain really allowing you to play around the Bestial matchup. Hell, you might just play this just for fun. All right. One Nats to draw phase. He's going to get him to go into his main phase one. And then top deck says, no, no, no. I have something in standby phase. Top deck is going to activate Welcome Labyrinth to special summon one of his cards, which will also turn on his Silver Castle in hand. So now he's going to get his Ariana. Ariana's effect to add another Silver Castle. Activate Silver Castle in hand. Okay, so at this point, he's just trying to set up his ability to keep uh, recurring stuff. So he's going to normal. So I want is going to normal summon his Aluber. What's he going to get here? He's going to get another branded fusion because now our dimension shifter is offline. So he's going to light off the branded fusion. This is going to be an okay, but now, yeah, so now those, we're going to see those Ice Dragon Prisons coming in. That's actually, Ice Dragon Prison is probably one of the best cards you can play uh, right now. Uh, as soon as we get more cash to your support, it's not going to be a very good card. Uh, sure, you can banish two things out, but then the banish zone, they'll be like, okay, I'm just going to special summon right back out. So, uh, I1 Nats here is going to activate his Albion effect. His opponent is going to activate his Bestial Jerusalem effect, and then I1 Nats is going to chain his Bestial Jerusalem effect, all going after Fallen of Albaz here. Because he's only got the two in graveyard, yeah. So they're fighting over because he's only got the two in graveyard. He he's gonna he's trying to force out his opponent into banishing his um yeah banishing his opponent. So so he's saying there's not a valid target. We'll pause that real fast. What this is so now we're on chain link. Uh, one, two, three, four. We're on chain link four here. 
just want to kind of play back through what we said here. So sent those to his opponent, I declared, he says, Albaz targeting uh, Bistil Jerusalem in hand, Albaz thinking, activate Ice Dragon's Prince. He said, I'll do it on Luber, and he says, not a valid target. Yeah. Must be special summon from your hand or graveyard. Yes, yeah. so you can't. Uh, you can't ice dragon uh, Bist of the Rebellion. So that's what he's saying. So he's saying not a valid target. So then he says, "Well, I'll go ahead and, and I'll go after the Fallen of Albaz instead." Yeah. So he's saying, "Yeah, because you can't. You can't use that to special summon it because ice dragon burn requires you to special summon to resolve the effect." So then top deck is going to activate Paleozoic Dinomiscus uh, here, which is interesting because he doesn't have to discard anything unless it resolves. So let's go ahead and play it again. So now we're gonna go ahead and, re we're gonna go ahead and resolve that. Oh no, I'm sorry. So now Lady of the Labyrinth's effect is gonna activate. Yeah, so he's gonna get to some, some so what, what is that? That is uh, chain link one, chain link two, chain link three, chain link four, chain link five, chain link six. That's pretty good. All right, so he's gonna set his dimensional barrier. He's going to discard the Bestial Jerusalem, and then he's gonna banish out the Albaz Branded Dragon. Okay. So now Albion is going to try to resolve as best it can, which is gonna get him his Despian uh, Terrace here. And so that is, um, Yeah, so now he's going to, top deck is going to activate his Ariana. This is going to allow him to um, draw, yeah, draw into his card. He draws into a magma. What a great top deck. And then he activates, and then I will not activate his Brandon Regain, so he gets his draw. Now we're going to activate a Branded Opening. So even after all that interaction, I will not lost uh very little he didn't get the play line he wanted to but he lost very little in that interaction okay so because branded uh, opening does not discard for cost he's going to get his snow effect so that does allow him to get into his dark world of session now we're going to see a little bit of that dark world engineer so now top deck is going to chain the bestial magma and he's going to target the snow he's specifically doing that because he doesn't because it does say a dark as well as Grapha, right? So he's basically, he wants to make sure that his opponent has to use more resources from hand. So he's gonna just use the tragedy, which which is fine, because tragedy's effect. So did he already, you know, he did already use tragedy's effect this turn. So the Grapha effect will target one of the back row, mandatory effect, and okay, there we go, he says tragedy two. So Grapha's effect is mandatory, it must go first in the chain link, and this is two mandatory effects. And then he's going to say Tragedy 2. So that sends the other Ice Dragon Prisons. That one was turned off already for this turn. But it's good to just get rid of it. And then he's going to get the Dramaturge of Despia. Yeah. So this deck is just playing through this back row like it's nothing. Yeah. So he's going to go into Battle Phase. Use Graphic uh, Dragon of the Overlord to or Underworld to swing over the castle. And then use his Quiritus to swing over the Labyrinth Servant. Shut both those effects off. You don't know what that last backer is and you don't want your opponent continuously getting resources. That was a good play. And on in phase, top deck is gonna add Bestial Druus Worm off of the Magnumut Search. And now he's gonna light off the Druus Worm. He's thinking about a target. He's gonna target the tragedy. And he says, you've already used Druus Worm. No, that's true, yeah, he did. Good job, I won that's good call. He did use that. He already tried to trigger the effect, it just didn't resolve. And he says you can't change the can't change the search target. And he's why well, one that says no. So top deck is going to draw. He's going to top deck just like his name into probably one of his better cards to get himself back into his engine. His pot of extravagance, and then he's going to activate his bestial druid swarm because he's probably trying to bait the dragon overlord of the dark world. But I one that says I don't care. Banish the Lubellion. I'm still going to get my draw, and I can get into that part of my engine anytime I want. But he doesn't activate the Brandon Regain. Interesting. All right. So he's going to, after he special, uh, specializes the 
Uh, Druid Swarm is going to go into a Muckraker from the Otherworld. Activate Druid Swarm to target the Dragon of the Overlord. He's going to have to negate that. Does want it gone. And then he's going to activate Muckraker from the Underworld. Muckraker is going to target the Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle. And then he has to discard. So he discards the Pot of Extravagance. Okay. Interesting. So now, top deck says I'm going to go into battle phase. I won Nats activates the Quiridus effect. So he's going to basically try to change the uh, damage, change the attack rate to zero. And then what top deck is going to activate his dimensional barrier, which is going to get his silver castle's effect on, which allows him to set a dogmatic punishment. And now Labyrinth is or silver castle is going to swing over the Quiridus. Quiritus, and we're going to pass turn. So, uh, overall, I want Nats is still in a very commanding position here. Uh, he's going to activate his Bestial Druid Swarm. He's going to target his own Quiritus so he can get that back, get that resource back with Brandon Regain. Yep, there we go. So at this point, he top deck is now going to activate Dogmatica Punishment. So the thing about that is, is even if Kind of even depending on what he sent, he wasn't going to get rid of the branded regain effect no matter what he did. Um, but anyways, the Iwa Nats chains Grapha. He's going to send the Aluber and it allows him to draw into a Fallen of Albaz. So he hasn't conducted his normal summon too bad. He doesn't have a card he can just discard with this. He's going to link the Aluber as well as the Druid Swarm off into his own Muckraker. Use Druid Swarm to go after Silver Castle. Activate Muckraker's effect, locking himself into Fiends, discarding the Fallen of Albaz, special summoning the Grapha, Dragon of the Dark World. He's At this point, he's now just going for blood. All right, leaves top deck on 300. Silver Castle can now activate her special summon effect. Brandon Regain will special summon out. What does he have left? Who is he, in there? he has the Jewish Worm, so he gets the Jewish Worm back because a normal special summon occurred. Top deck draws into his rivalry of the Warlords. What a top deck, but it does not matter because no matter what, Grappa can turn that off with a draw. Top deck realizes that there's not much he's going to be able to do because he's going to be able to swing for game because Grappa can swing over no matter what he has. That's the 300 and turn off that back row. And even if you out the even if you out the Grappa, uh, or the, the big boy, he can special summon out the other one if he's already if he wasn't already on the field. So top deck is going to start us off this turn. He is going to open up a Eradicator Epidemic Virus with the Lord of the Heavenly Prison. That's actually a really uh, unique play. You can basically, I mean, in this deck, just say, hey, get rid of spells and turn off all the fusion summoning right off the bat. Unless they open the Fallen, Dimension Barry, Dramatic Punishment, as well as Rivalry of the Warlords. So that's, that's a fairly hard setup to break. Gives him the thumbs up to go into main phase one. He's going to activate Branded Opening. Says that's okay. Sends the Despia. Gets the Aluber as well as the, uh, sorry, the um, Tragedy. He's going to add another Aluber. And then he's going to add his Branded Fusion. Activates Branded Fusion, which is going to be met by Rivalry of the Warlords. That will fizzle out. And now he'll pass turn. So the Lightning Storm there, sadly, obviously, Heavenly Prison is, is showing, so he can't use it. Top deck is going to activate Dogmatica Punishment. He sends the Dingirsu. Lord of Heavenly Prisons comes down. Sets himself a Welcome Labyrinth off of a Heavenly Prisons effect, which means his engine's online. Activates his, uh, la activates his Welcome Labyrinth, but Rivalry of Warlords is on the board, so then Top Deck remembers, okay, well, I can just Virus here first. And I don't see what he calls... He says true. Oh, no, it's true is the other one. So he didn't call anything, but if my guess was, he was going to call out spells. So now we're going to go into the all-important game three. Okay, I won Nats is going to be starting us off here. He opens up with a Despian Tragedy, Branded Opening, Super Poly, another Despian Tragedy, and another Branded Opening. So a decent hand. Not a great hand, but it definitely gets you into engine, which is obvious as part one. Activates the brain opening, special summons out the Aluber, sends the Despian Tragedy, gets himself a Branded Fusion as well as a Dramaturge of the Despia. Lights off his Branded Fusion. He's going to send Aluber, or sorry, Lubellion as well as Fallen of Albaz. 
special summons out as Albion. Very standard play here. Gonna banish out the tragedy as well as the Fallen of Albaz. Get himself his Masquerade. Is anything on res? Nope. And then he goes and do Lubellion, tributing off the Albion. Lubellion is gonna set the Branded Beast. Okay, I, I see you, but I think Regained is always the better play. My personal opinion, always the better play. I uh, want is reminded that Branded Beast gets put face up, that's fine. In phase, Albion will activate, which gets him another Branded Fusion. So he has his engine online for the next turn. So top deck, activates his Pot of Extravagance. Living up to his name, always getting Pot. He draws into a dimensional barrier, and I think that was another. I didn't see what the other draw was there. So, special summons the Lava Golem, tributing over. Looks like he's going to say the Masquerade as well as the Lubellion. So, he's going to turn the Branded Beast offline, turn the damage offline, and he's going to activate his Labyrinth Labyrinth. Nice wordplay there. And then he's going to special summon Silver Castle because he activated a Labyrinth card effect, setting the Compose, the Welcome to Labyrinth, as well as the Dimensional Barrier. At this point, I want Nats is going to take his 1,000 off of the good old boy Lava Golem. No one ever, no one ever asked, but what about the man in the cage? What ha What did he do to get there? Let me know in the comments below what the man did to get in Lava Golem's cage like that. What a punishment. All right, back into the duel. I want Nats is going to activate Vistia Sarner in main phase one. He's going to banish out the uh, Albion. Top deck is thinking. Thinking. Right. Says it's good to go. Uh, when Nats activates his brand infusion, Top deck is now thinking. Thinking some more. Right. He's going to hit that uh, Dimension Barrier. Dimensional Barrier, you know, making his way back into the game. During This card came out, and then Link right. Format just made this card absolutely useless for so long. Uh, when Master Rule for Link format came out. So now he's going to chain his Super Polymerization because he still needs to get into that poly and go into his Despian Quiritus. So that gets rid of his Silver Castle off the off the field there. Silver Castle's effect. Yeah, he's trying to activate Silver. Okay, yeah, you can't do that. But he can activate Labyrinth, Labyrinth. So on this one, he... Yeah, so if a if you activate a non line with normal trap card, you can special summon uh, one fiend monster. So he's activating the special summon effect, and now he's going to activate welcome labyrinth. All right, so this is this is going to be an interesting play here. So he's activating the welcome labyrinth, which means that labyrinth labyrinth will resolve first, and labyrinth labyrinth can destroy branded beast. So labyrinth labyrinth isn't destroyed, but he does have he does have a tough decision on his hands. But I think. Branded Beast is probably your best bet. Now he says pop the fusion. And then he forgets that Brandon opening is in the graveyard to protect the Quiritus. Okay. Ariana on special summon gets to add herself a silver castle. So far, I think that's all, all we're seeing in this duel. I do think she is the better one, though. So I won Nat, switches Lava Golem to attack, says, I'm going to beat you with your own big boy. Top deck takes 3,000. There's not a lot he can do. He does have the Compulse. He can give himself back the Lava Golem, but that's not going to do him much. He can bounce the Despian Quiritus, but he's thinking on that. I won Nat sets the Brandon opening. Top deck is going to activate Silver Castle and in phase to special summoner. And now we're going to see the Compulse. He's going to say on the Fusion, and then Silver Castle will chain. Getting himself another dimensional barrier to try to shut off fusions for the rest of the turn or for the next turn. And then he's going to draw into a silver castle. Not, not a good top deck. And so he just pa he passes his turn because he just wants his opponent to take the 3,000 and he doesn't want to lose a silver castle. Or take the 1,000, doesn't want to lose a silver castle. But we do have a branded opening. So Bestial Magnemot's effect is going to activate. He's going to target the silver castle. So this is one of those instances. See, Brandon B so far has done absolutely nothing for him. But had he set, but had he set the uh, regained, he I mean he would have been up three in resources right now, plus the special summons he could have gotten off of Sauronir, uh to keep more plays going. Regained is always the answer, folks. Go regained. All right. So he gets the uh, Lubellion on field by tributing off the uh, Magnumut, and then Lubellion sets the regained. 
He's going to banish the Despian Tragedy to set the Branded Fusion and then going to draw one off of that. So at this point, he's going to light off the Branded Opening, discarding the Dramaturge, which special summons out the Aluber. Aluber effect is going to activate. Now we're going to see a Dimensional Barrier, which is going to activate Silver's effect. What does he set here? What I mean, what's his best play? He sets the Compulse. I want Nats is going to grab Branded in red. Now we're going to swing in. Crashes. Crashes the Lava Gum. Lava Gum's finally down. Now he's going to swing in for 2,500. And now Top Deck is thinking, what do I do? Since a Labyrinth effect was activated, he's just going to take it. He doesn't want to risk. I don't know what, he's, what he was so much risking there. So then after that, in main phase two, he's going to activate Brandon Beast, pop it to destroy the Compulse Evac device. He's going to set the Brandon in red, set the Super Poly. And on in phase, he's going to give himself something to make a Super Poly live. And then Silver Castle comes down. And that brings him back the Bestial Sarnir. Again, like I'm telling you, Brandon Regain is a plus two every turn in card advantage. All right. What do we do here? Top deck says main phase one. I've got to think of a plan. And he's gonna be, it's gonna be Lava Golem. Lava Golem is the plan. Saranir is gonna send the brain fusion. Lady Lampreth is gonna go into attack mode and she's gonna crash. And here comes evenly matched on the end. Uh, and he saves the brain every game because he knows the power. And then he scoops it up. So because he knows he has Bestial Jerusalem and he's got nothing left in Grave, all he has to do is just go into his main phase. He's going to draw, draw, attack for it. That's game. So a great duel played by both players. I like the consistency version of this deck just seemed good, but this version of Branded just, just kept up the tempo so much and always use Brand Regain. So in the comments below, let me know if you like this duel. Let me know what decks you wanna see in the future. And as always, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. It goes a long way to start helping me out and also pushing my videos to the top of the YouTube algorithm so we can keep growing. I appreciate everything that you guys do. I appreciate all the support you guys leave. And as always, I'll catch y'all next time. Thank you for watching. Try some of these other great duels. If you like what you saw, give us a like and subscribe.